guys, welcome back to my channel. Now for those of you who've been knocking around for I'd say the last eight months minimum, you will have seen that last September I did my very first Everlane order. Now, I wasn't particularly kind about Everlane. However, I feel like this video should be titled, Dear Everlane, I'm sorry, because I have changed my mind massively since I did that first order. I was very cynical with that first order. And to be fair, within about three or four weeks after making that order, I started wearing everything. I've actually got three of my favorite items on from that autumn winter order, um, which was this blazer, this basic t-shirt and these skinny jeans. And I have probably worn these more than anything else in my wardrobe over the autumn winter seasons. So you guys have been asking me to do an updated video for some of their newer items, which is exactly what today is all about. So I made an order, I'd probably say maybe about six weeks ago, made a little order for myself for about four or five pieces. I had a basket full, I had over a thousand pounds worth of stuff. But the good thing about Everlane, I suppose it's good and bad, is that when you come to check out, if you're in the UK or somewhere other than the US, that is, because just in case you're not aware, Everlane is a US based brand, which for those of us who are in the UK or in Europe or anywhere else, unfortunately that means we're gonna incur some lovely customs charges and import fees, which is never fun, but you know, that's just the lay of the land, I'm afraid. So the good thing about Everlane is that these fees won't come as a surprise. So when you check out at the end of your checkout process, or before at least you go to pay, it will tell you how many or how much customs you actually owe. So then once you see that amount, you can think, Ugh, that's quite a lot. I'm gonna go back, go through my basket, maybe filter out some bits. And that's exactly what I did. So I picked out a few items. Those arrived pretty quickly. Unlike my last order, all of the items that I ordered were in stock because as you might have seen in September's video, my items arrived a little bit staggered and that annoyed me a little bit. Having said that, that wasn't Everlane's fault. I knew that before I made the order, but everything here was in stock. Now, it's also worth me mentioning, after I made my order, that arrived, I started wearing a few pieces and then Everlane actually got in touch with me because they'd seen my video back in September and they wanted to change my mind but they'd seen that I'd been wearing some of the new items. So they offered to send me a few extra pieces. So I picked a few little extra bits which I've also got here on the rail. Anything that has been gifted, I will make sure that I mark down below in the description box very clearly for you guys to see. Now, without further ado, because I feel like I've waffled enough already, I'm going to get started with the first item and I'm going to start off with basics because you guys know I am a big basic lover. Now, Everlane have actually come out with their classic basic, which is this little one with the patch pocket on the front. This one here in a long sleeve version. And I know it seems a bit strange because the one that I've got on, if I just shimmy my blazer off, is short sleeved. This is exactly the same but in a long sleeve variety. Now this was from my autumn winter order and this is from my spring summer order which I know doesn't really make a lot of sense but in spring summer I do quite like a long sleeve basic because it means I don't necessarily have to wear sweater or a blazer over the top and it's just something which is going to keep my arms covered because I like to keep the majority of my skin covered from the sun just due to all that sun damage I did when I was younger. So I've opted for a dark, depressing colour, which is this kind of washed out black in the long sleeved version. So I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see how it looks. And here we go. I mean, it's nothing special guys, but if like me, you love basics, they are pretty nice basics. Now I would just like to say one small thing. I have yet to order any light colour basics from Everlane and I have heard from a few of you guys that because the fabric is quite thin, it's a nice fabric but admittedly because it is a bit thin, the white and the lighter colours can often be a bit see-through. Obviously I've got on this washed black kind of dark charcoal -y grey colour so you can't really see through anything. Um, but if you do have an issue with the lighter colours, leave us some comments down in the comment section below because it's nice for everyone to kind of share their 
reviews and experiences just so that we can all make informed purchases and wise purchases. But as this colour goes, I love it. It is an already oversized fit, however, as I always do with my basics, I upsized again anyway to a size large just because I do like them nice and big and baggy and loose fitting, especially in the summer months, just so that you can get some ventilation. I'm going to untuck it so you guys can see how long it is because admittedly, Everlane basics aren't particularly long, so they are more the sort of basics that you would tuck into a higher waisted jean and these. Um, skinny jeans are high-waisted so it's kind of perfect for me and I do wear a lot of high-waisted styles anyway now in terms of price these are $28 which is about I'm just checking my notes 22 pounds I can't fault that I genuinely can't and this I have already worn maybe seven or eight times this tends to be something that I wear around the house when I'm just doing my work um, it's something that I wear under a blazer. It's something that I'll just wear if we nip into the supermarket, just tuck it into a pair of jeans. It's just a nice, nice quality basic. Right, let's move on to my next item, which is knitwear. And I know that might seem a bit strange, again, for a spring summer purchase, but I do still wear knitwear in the spring summer season. Okay, the soft cotton v-neck. Well, it's soft. That's, that's a given, it's definitely soft. It is made from 100% cotton, which is really nice to have, especially in a piece of knitwear, so that it doesn't feel sort of smothering and stuffy when you're wearing it, when it's a little bit warmer. I've upsized in this one again, because it does say it is a relaxed fit. I've gone for a size medium. And you know what, I'd say that's about right, because as you might be noticing, it does have quite a wide v-neck and as I move around I have found that it does start to slip off the shoulders a bit which you could kind of do like a little off the shoulder number if that's your jam you could do a little half tuck with it I personally just prefer to wear it as a normal v-neck but I do find that as I move around my shoulders these do start to sort of widen and slip off either one or both shoulders. So that's just something to bear in mind for size. But yeah, it's just a nice relaxed effortless piece. Really love this colour. I'm very much into the sort of neutral and earthy colours and this is really nice for summer. It looks really good with a tan. I probably sort of do a bit of a half tuck. In fact, I think I've already worn this in a video. I can't remember which one it was. I feel like it was a sit down video where maybe I was talking about a handbag or something. Price wise, this is $50, which is around about £39.50, which I'd say is again, really good value for money. I just find with Everlane, some things are like really, really reasonable, but other items, appear quite expensive. I personally think that they're worth the money, but I feel like there's quite a big gap in terms of pricing when it comes to basic items and then some of the items which I've got coming up. Now I'm gonna move on to my second piece of knitwear, which is this, and this is another 100% cotton knit. Okay, this one admittedly is a slightly chunkier knit, but as you'll probably be able to tell from a distance, hopefully on screen, is that it's actually a more open knit. So I haven't got anything on underneath this other than a white bra, which is probably not the best option. So you might be able to tell that it is a little bit see-through. Now on the website, they've actually styled this with a white crew neck t-shirt underneath so that the t-shirt just peeps out a little bit at the top. And I actually really like that look because this is actually more of a cream, like a creamy oatmeal color off white. And so I quite like the contrast of the two different really pale colors. And you might need to wear either a vest or something underneath or probably a skin color bra would do it if you didn't want to wear another layer and you just wanted to keep it open. Now again, this one does have a V-neck similar to the one that I just featured. However, it's not as wide and I've upsized in this even more, I've gone for this one in a size large because I wanted this really slouchy, like a nice casual weekend jumper that we can just, you know, walk around the flower market in. I say we, we can walk around the flower market in. I can walk around the flower market in. So it's 66% cotton and 34% linen. So it's a nice lightweight mix of fabrics for the summer months. Yeah, I like this. It's just a nice casual, you know, easy going little throw on piece for when you're sort of not really sure what to wear. I think it's always nice to have a couple of really lightweight knitwear options for spring, summer. 
um, unless you live in a really hot country, in which case it's probably going to be a no-go. But for us over here in the UK, I think something like this is always a bit of a must. Right, now I'm going to move on to bottoms. And I actually have two of the same pair of bottoms, but in two different colours. So I ordered these, and this is also something that I want to touch on, because last time I mentioned the returns policy and I hadn't tried it. And this is something that I'm gonna just roll with for a minute. So I ordered these, these are the wide leg chinos. Just holding these up, they look tiny. I ordered these in a US size four. And when I did this order, I really trawled through loads of the reviews to hear what people were saying about the sizing. Because the problem is when you're UK based or anywhere other than the US, you're not used to US sizing and it's just, it's very different to how we do sizing. Even when you look at the size charts, I have still got sizing wrong. And this is example A. So I ordered these in a US size four. I'm gonna try and squeeze them on in a minute so you guys can see, but they are very, very tight. And this is where I'm gonna go back to being a bit of a Debbie Downer on Everlane, because this is just the one issue that again, if you're not in the US, it's a little bit tricky to shop with Everlane and do returns because you have to pay for the returns to go back yourself. Like, okay, fine, not everywhere, you know, can cover the cost of returns. But when you're shipping something, especially if it were perhaps a shoebox, because it has to go back in the original packaging, it's gonna be quite expensive to send that. And just so that you've got yourself covered, you're probably gonna wanna send it tracked as well. So that's quite a lot of money that is coming out of your refunds. They also charge $7 out of your refund for a processing fee. So I was like, I really don't wanna return these cause I'm gonna get barely any money back. So I thought I'll keep them. Optimistically, I might lose a bit of weight <laughs> and I might be able to squeeze into them. Otherwise, there's definitely gonna be someone that I can give these to in my family. My sister-in-law would probably really like these and she's a little bit smaller than me. So she would probably fit into them. Right, these are the sage green ones. And this is quite bizarre because I hadn't realised this, but I just had them on the rail when I was feeling them both. And I thought to myself, they actually feel different. They are actually two different items, which I didn't realise before. These are the wide leg chinos and these are the wide leg pants. There is a difference, trust me. Um, the fabric is slightly different. This is definitely a chino fabric. Now these ones are $68, these are also $68. These are 98% cotton, 2% elastin. These are 97% cotton and 3% elastin. Admittedly, these have more stretch, but I did go for a larger size in these. I went for a US 6. Admittedly, they are so much more comfortable. Um, so I would say the sizing between these two items is very similar and they're the same price so I would just have a look and see which you prefer. I can definitely say these feel more comfortable but that's because they fit. These ones obviously they don't fit so I couldn't really tell you but these are really nice. I've already worn these, I think you would have seen these in my what I wore in a week vlog. Um, really nice comfortable pair of trousers. I really like this colour, this is one of the biggest colours for this season and they actually think that it goes quite nicely with this little oatmeal sweater and I haven't worn this as an outfit so there we go. So yes, these are $68 which is about £54. Right, moving on, I'm going to stay with trousers because I've got one pair left and it is actually a pair of jeans. Now Everlane had a new style come out this summer called the summer jeans but before I could order them they all sold out. I wanted to try another pair of jeans because I loved those skinnies that I had on earlier so much. I know I keep pointing down there, it's because I've literally just strewn that entire outfit on the floor. So that's where it's now currently lying. Um, so these are the cheeky straight jeans. And here they are. They are the same Japanese denim as the skinnies that I had on earlier. I think that's kind of one of Everlane's I don't want to use the word trademark, but it was just, it would be a word that I use, but it's one of their sort of staple 
denims that they tend to use, which Japanese denim apparently keeps its shape and stays rigid whilst also having an element of stretch and being comfortable. I can definitely vouch for the skinnies, they're great. I've worn these a few times as well, I haven't worn them as much as I've worn the skinnies throughout the autumn winter season because I've only had these for a little while, but I definitely like them. As a straight leg jean goes, admittedly they're not my favourite and I actually had this issue with the skinny jeans last year. I just felt that in terms of fit, they weren't quite spot on. However, it does make them a really comfortable jean and a lot of my jeans that I think look really good don't necessarily feel that comfortable because they're quite tight. Now I've gone for these in the same size as I went for my other ones in, which is a size 28 waist, which for me would be true to size. Um, I would say they fit right, but again, they do have room. They have room for the buffet and they have you know, like a little bit of a little bit of room elsewhere as well. So they're definitely comfortable jeans. I feel like if you would like them to fit tighter, size down. Price-wise, they're $68, which I think is a really good value for money, especially for denim. And if they're gonna be anything like my other jeans, they wash really well, they haven't faded. And this Japanese denim seems to be onto something because they do hold their shape without stretching out too much and yet whilst also being comfortable. Right, on to my last item of clothing, which is my favorite. I've been dying to talk to you guys about this. This won't be the first time you've seen this blazer. I have worn this so much over the last few weeks. This is the linen mixed blazer. I actually think it might be called the cotton mixed blazer, but it does have a lot of linen in it. Now I've gone for this in a size six, which is the same as what I went for in the blazer that I was wearing at the beginning of the video. I mentioned sizing on that in September's video, just saying that I felt like it was a little bit big, but actually I ended up loving that fit and I wore that blazer so much throughout the autumn winter season. So I decided to stick with a size six when I went for this linen blazer because it is essentially the same blazer. This is just spring summer update. It's made from a lighter fabric, but it is the same cut and the same fit. And I just love it. Single breasted, really nice fabric does have a lot of linen in it. So it's 40% linen, 38% lyocell, and 22% cotton. No polyester in a blazer, which instantly makes this like a hero blazer for having no polyester. Now, a few of you have asked me because of that hefty amount of linen, does it crease? I, in all honesty, have steamed this once, and that was the day it arrived, and since then have not steamed it since, and I've worn it a lot. You guys have seen me wearing it a lot. I mean, it has a little bit of texture to it and there's probably a few creases here and there, but I can't say that it has creased massively. And that's probably due to the fact that it is mixed with that lyocell, which is a nice sort of slinky, almost a faux silk kind of fabric. And that just gives it a little bit more wiggle room in terms of avoiding those creases. Now, when it comes to price, this is one of those items which I feel is one of the more higher priced items. For me, definitely worth it. If you don't wear blazers a lot, maybe not so much. Maybe I would go for the midnight colour so that it's super, super versatile. I've already got my wear out of this, so even if I never wear it again, which is highly unlikely, I will be more than happy. But it's $145, which works out at about 114 of our great British pounds. For me, personally, I think that's incredible value for money. It's one of the nicest blazers I have ever worn in terms of how it's made, the lining is nice, the cut, the fit. I think you can tell how enthusiastic and how chuffed I am with this blazer. Cannot recommend it enough. If there's one thing that you want to try from Everlane, let it be the cotton blazer. Right, moving on to footwear. This is the Everlane Day Glove and this was probably one of the items that you guys who obviously love Everlane, all you Everlane fans out there, recommended for me to try if I chose to make another order. Now, these are the other item which I had the size issue with. So I hadn't ordered any Everlane footwear in my previous video from back in September. So this was my first pair of footwear. And I have tricky feet anyway. I have one foot that's like at least a half size bigger than the other and I am a half size, which makes it very, very tricky. 
So I ordered these in a US 10, which I understood to be about a US, no, a UK 8. It's not, that's more of a UK 7. So technically I should have ordered these in a US 10 and a half, which would be a UK 7 and a half. However, they are that soft and they really are, they are super, super soft. And I can so see why they are called the day glove because it is like a little glove for your foot. They're really soft, they feel nice and secure, they don't feel tight though. They feel really flexible like this sole, super, super flexible. They don't feel structured like a ballet pump. They're just, I feel like I'm gonna say the word soft again, but they are, they're just soft. They're beautiful, really nicely made. And I know some of you will be wondering how I fix the size issue with these. So I basically needed to squeeze an extra half a size out of these bad boys. So this is what I use, this contraption over here and this spray. This is leather stretch spray. And these are shoe stretchers. If you don't have a pair of shoe stretchers, I highly recommend you buy a pair because if you have any shoes that you perhaps struggle with, maybe your feet swell up a bit, particularly these are come in handy for people who are pregnant and their feet swell out a little bit. These are great for stretching out your shoes. And in this instance, where I really did not want to pay for that shipping back to the US and for that seven pound processing fee, I thought, no, do you know what? I'm gonna whip out the shoe stretchers and the stretching spray and I'm gonna give it a go. And basically, you spray this inside the shoe in the area where you wanna stretch, which is normally around the heel and towards the front of the toe. And then you pop these in, crank them up, wind this little doobry on the end, and then I just left them for a week. After a week, took these out, slipped them on, and they were perfect. Now these should stretch I would say up to one full size out of a shoe. This will be depending on the shoe, but I managed, I only obviously needed a half a size stretching in these shoes. I would be very cautious though, particularly if you have a pair of very expensive designer shoes, just be careful because you have to bear in mind you are stretching the shoe which is stuck to the sole so you don't want the sole to just fly off. So the day gloves are $115 which is about £91 and they are made of 100% Italian leather. Now I also got the square toe flat and in all fairness these are one of the items that Everlane sent me so I ordered these in a ten and a half because I had made my sizing mistake already and I feel like that's something that kind of happens with Everlane. Once you make your first order in like a few of the items you kind of get to know your size. So now I'm fully clued up with size in Everlane footwear so I feel like I can't really go wrong again. Fortunately I managed to save those so it's all good. These are $150 which is roughly about £118, £119. These are not as soft okay they are soft but they're more structured than the day glove I think you'll be able to see that the leather is thicker it's like double faced leather so it almost has a leather lining on the inside they've got this really cute quirky circular heel on the back I mean I say heel it's not much of a heel it's literally like a centimeter kind of like the square toe as well I think that's really nice nice little design element and makes them look a little bit sort of designer-esque, a little bit Cellini maybe. Very, very chic, very classic. And they, they're really comfortable. They're not as comfortable as the day glove, admittedly. They didn't rub me as such on the first wear. They just didn't feel like I could walk all day in them. And I probably lasted about four hours in these. Again, with no blisters and no rubs, there was just more of a pinching. But I feel like after I've worn these a few more times, they're already getting more and more comfortable. So as the leather kind of forms to my feet, but just be aware that these do start off a little bit stiff and they do need a little bit of breaking in time. But I think these would be an excellent work shoe if you're looking for something high quality, something that you will eventually be able to wear all day and something that's just very chic, minimal and simplistic. And finally, on to the trainers. So these are a new product from Everlane. They've actually created like a, a sister brand, if you will, called Tread. They've designed one pair of trainers. I'm not sure if they're gonna come out with other styles in the future. 
that they've designed this one pair and I believe they come in, I think it's either seven or nine colours. I feel like it's seven. Now, there's so many amazing points about these trainers, but before I go into all those, I'm just going to quickly touch on size because their sizing is a little bit tricky, a little bit dodgy because I feel like it's unisex sizing, which won't work for everyone. These don't come in half sizes, unlike their like pumps and their other shoes. So unfortunately, I had to size up in these to a size US 11, which sounds massive, but I don't know how I would have got on with the US 10. So I would have had to have sized down to full on and I don't think I, I would have fit in the US 10. So these are a little bit big. It's just a bit of a bummer that they don't come in a half size. Okay, but that's my little negative, my little niggle out of the way. Let's get on to all the positives because there are so many positives about these. As some of you will know, Everlane is one of the leading brands in this sustainable arena that we're all becoming more and more conscious of. And I think they've put a lot of thought, time and effort into creating these trainers. So the first point is that these are made with 54% less virgin plastic than any other trainer slash sneaker brand, which is excellent news because that is what we're trying to eradicate is all of the use of this new freshly made or as it's termed virgin plastic. Any other emissions that couldn't be eliminated yet because they're still working on improving all of these ways that we can eliminate certain things. Any of those that couldn't be eliminated have been offset. So for every single pair of tread sneakers that are made, 100% of their carbon footprint is completely offset. And on top of all that, they're just a really cool pair of trainers. I've worn them a fair few times now over the last few weeks. I find them really comfortable. I don't find them too heavy and too chunky. Of course, that's gonna be down to personal preference. I like a chunky trainer anyway. If you're used to a Converse, these might take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but yeah, for $98, I would say these are a really, really good option if you are an avid trainers slash sneakers wearer. Right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed having a look and a nosy through what I've been buying from Everlane. If you've made any purchases from Everlane, you've got those key items which you've just been like crazy over, let me know what they are down in the comment section below because I might be forced to make another cheeky little order. And if you have tried Everlane upon my recommendation, if maybe you made an order after the last video, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think, especially if you're in the UK. What do you think of their shipping? If anyone's tried the returns policy over here in the UK, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.